in a world of evolving concepts and theories comes creative block and without the best practices that all great designers and directors do you might come along with it a little more often so what's the solution mood wards Oops, almost forgot. Black Friday sale, 50% off my everything pack. My usual $30, now currently $15 for all my original self life products, plus future self life products for free. $15 right now, quite literally stealing at this point. Also, more than worth it at $30 if you guys are watching after the sale, by the way. And with over 5,000 plus purchases, maybe you're next. Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to hopefully use and create your own mood board or inspiration board. First off, let me actually show you guys the power of the mood boards and how I actually end up using them. So here's what I do. Let's take the example out of my mood board tab on Cecil HQ. So if you guys actually take a peek at the mood board I created, even though I do this mentally, when you're first starting off, it may not be a bad idea to actually write on your board. Now, a great mood board needs a great place to actually look for these pictures. And for me, the best of the business is Pinterest. Not a sponsor, by the way, you've definitely Definitely heard of it though you probably also ignored it and maybe realizing you've ignored a very vital part of like the best sites for designers seriously so the concept for Pinterest is actually search for a vibe a certain sport UI UX etc whatever you guys want to type in then click on the image and before you know it below that image is related concepts of either color composition or effects giving you guys the option to see how many of those people do it differently or use it in a different way then of course saving or pinning the ones that you actually like and enhance your homepage algorithm and a quick little tip from me is if you guys actually do own a Pinterest I would suggest you guys actually have two of them one is actually for your personal sort of like geared toward designs that you do so for me like sports designs things like that for like one and another one for just strictly exploratory so like different mediums of art maybe if it's like motion 3d whatever it is that's what the stuff you search for on that different Pinterest that way you have a way to actually gear back and just like kind of like focus back on your own main stuff and having the best of both worlds another great site that I actually use for inspiration is awards they share current and evolving time design and probably can help you actually predict trends and naturally the next example I have is Behance where you guys can actually search on the features tab for any category that interests you and one of the biggest tips that I can actually give you guys even if it's not the exact kind of style that you do in design whether if it's like you do like strictly like graphic design do not be afraid to explore motion design UX game theory game design whatever it ends up being you will never actually know why did I have the voice crack there? You'll never actually know what will inspire you until you actually see it. It may actually take you guys to actually go search for things in 3D when you only work with 2D objects to understand how to actually make this 2D object feel like something that you saw in the 3D section. So what I will say is do not be afraid whatsoever because it can actually change your whole life. Here's the hard part. How do you design with now so many new ideas? I understand that going from nothing to way too many ideas and choosing a direction is a very, very difficult thing. What I want to tell you guys is it's the simplest thing is try literally everything. Even if you do a direction that you love and you sit on that thing, you're just like, you know if that's you that's great but now you should actually start over you want to start over and also attempt it differently this time you might not realize now but when you actually do this thing differently you'll actually get something probably completely new something even like some more or something to even add to the other concept that you loved before and so on right this is basically how you evolve your level of thought and what you put into your work but also keep your mind fresh and less stress focusing on really uninspired ideas so one quick tip i want to actually mention is that if you guys actually have your mood more in Inside Photoshop, I recommend every once in a while taking this actual mood board and putting a black and white gradient over it. That way you kind of get rid of everything on this entire graphic, being the color scheme, the color contrast, things of that nature. And looking at this in actual black and white, you can say to yourself, okay, what are the actual star features in this design and make it a little bit more easier for you to kind of pinpoint it. However, I don't do that practice every single time, but I always do it with like older mood boards to see if I can see something differently. Regardless, so if we take this for a second and we're gonna look at this first graphic here, what do I like about this one? I went ahead and searched for, I said, I really enjoy this kind of typography right here and this little icon on the top right just made it feel a little bit more edgy and kind of like futuristic however one of the things i actually loved the most about this graphic was the composition so on the top over here we kind of have this black graphic right there right kind of like holding all the information on the bottom the full frame of the picture made that that was like a really good like thing for me so i'm gonna say composition biggest w on this graphic here for something like the second one i really love the actual color scheme of this so i love the orange and the red and how that kind of work with the actual blue and pinks it just made it like just look really cool so i was like saying to myself i can just use this red and orange in the background blue and pink in the foreground make it look this really cool futuristic vibe i really enjoyed it for this guy over here i really enjoyed the blur in the actual graphic however though if you look at it for the second time or look at it over and over and over again or really in depth you might not even realize if you zoom in for a second 
We have some really cool subtext here. We also have another indication of another text effect being used of like this matrix kind of look. For these two guys over here, I really enjoy the actual typography of them. So this one over here, I love that sort of like in and out contrast is actually see a shape. So the shape is behind it. This guy over here, usually you kind of see pictures in this straight up, you know, horizontal or vertical format. However, the disruption of this being tilted just a little bit and the actual action photo made it feel very energetic without doing literally anything besides tilting the photo so the tilt of the photo i'm saying yo let's try that out maybe it'll make my graphic look more energetic and of course the ones at the bottom i really love the color on these also the kind of like the disruption of like using the same exact kind of typography this one over here has a really cool like blocky kind of like varsity font but on the left hand side it's stretched so that i can just fit a photo in the actual middle of it pretty freaking cool right this one right here i just kind of really love this interaction for no reason whatsoever besides it looks cool maybe i love it because of the color maybe i love it because of the organicness it feels like it's going in and out i don't really know but just having that in my mind can also help me in the future as for something like this this is very disruptive and there's so much going on this like organic or just like just this this chaos is happening around it and these little boxes are just pure black nothing else but the words inside that kind of houses information really have this idea of like containing the chaos itself i love how that looked but the most satisfying part Part of this entire thing is i've had this movable for about 17 weeks already however though i was still capable of finding new and different things of the graphic that i actually liked and also just kind of rejuvenated some new ideas from an old mood ward so what i want to say to that is i would suggest you guys to please 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 save your mood wards because you never really know how much value you're going to get from just one session all right so going back to what i highlighted before let's try to actually build something i'm going to hop into this and i'm going to immediately say to myself i'm going to use this composition from this left hand side because i liked it actually quite a lot i think for this instance i'm just going to basically use a uh, or create I guess a scorecard for like let's just say like it's an Instagram template right I actually don't really enjoy like this background it doesn't really feel as great so instead I'm gonna cut this background out and I'm actually gonna add some color to it but of course the one that I actually saw the most that I like the color of was this kind of orange tone so I'm gonna use this orange for a second I like how that's looking so I'm gonna just kind of search around kind of look for some stuff one thing I actually really do like about this graphic now that I look at it again is it's sort of like subtext kind of going on here so I'm gonna write his name like over on the bottom left so after playing with this for a little bit I want to actually try out this effect over here by putting something in the background of my actual orange background because obviously orange is it's just it, it, it's just boring so i want to try something else so just really quickly trying to actually create this versus effect with like a logo inside of it i was struggling with it realizing well, if i go back to over here for a second what's one thing that i that you kind of see that's different from what i'm trying to do and they're trying to do over here with mine i'm only working with one sort of like symbol or or versus well, like two different letters right over here you have multiple different letters but the one thing i also notice as well is that it's also stacked the fact that it's stacked lets the kind of audience realize what the actual shape is a little bit easier and consume it a little bit easier because they're not really like hiding much of the actual text they're using two different texts on top of each other to actually create a whole different canvas so in my opinion besides actually doing it like this i want to try a different way of using like the stacked method and see if i get somewhere better so for me i'm going to say verses like this but in this case here what if i actually try out the the different colors too what if i tried out maybe a red right in the background this time okay so i i know i enjoyed the black of the composition last one but what if now i kind of float around for a second and say okay what if i made it orange you know maybe i actually just like the separation of how it's separated so maybe it doesn't actually have to be black it's just what caught my eye the first time but now realizing it's just the composition itself so i can try whatever color i want i went ahead and as well stole the red from this little circle here and i think this red in my opinion is almost better than this red that we're using from the other composition so i'm gonna mix these color schemes together now although i did forget about trying that like sort of layering effect i can still try it right now let's try to throw this logo on top of it and see what i can get with me trying this out if i kind of took this away for a second right or just kind of left only the white this right here just being placed where it is reminds me of like a, a sort of like a sports graph that i had on like a previous mood board that's not actually here but this la right here just kind of like low-key floating around you can notice it if you know the team you'll know this like design right so you can say we don't have to fully show it but what if i actually made another logo and put it on the right hand side since this is a versus graphic what if that's the other logo on the other side so something like this right i think i actually like how this is kind of like laid out right now but however if we look back over here i kind of like this like left left and bottom right top left kind of or like orientation so i'm gonna say over here i'm gonna move this bottom right like so move this one top left and now i'm feeling that i can actually put some kind of words on either side like this over here can be la thieves kenny right like versus optic for some nice little you know more typography right so that looks kind of nice just like that so now what i'm thinking in my head is do i want to try this little sort of like circular motion or shape within something so right now i have game day what if this is a graphic that we're trying to like say like live now right so i'm gonna like I'm gonna make my own little random shape right just something like this now although mine is not a circle i kind of like this 
this little random shade that I kind of got here. It, of course, definitely reminds you of that little shit that we had right here it, no, for no reason whatsoever. Now, I also kind of really enjoy this little typography thing that I did right here, just like a little lined up on the on the edges over there. I'm gonna try that same exact thing, kind of just doing something like this, just adding some more information, whether if it's legible or, or needed to be legible, it doesn't really matter. It's just texture at this point. This is, this is the most simplest kind of way I can just take all the kind of stuff we saw on my mood board and make something like this but aside besides me being just like unmotivated unlike you know inspired i don't know if i would come up with this if i didn't have this to look at right does this graphic genuinely look like anything in specific at 100 percent level can i say that this is inspired by this absolutely can i say that this right here is inspired by this background absolutely can i say that this shape right here is also probably inspired by these shapes over here possibly and can i also say maybe even subconsciously is this overlapping effect the same thing that has happened over here maybe however this design in no point whatsoever is ever going to be considered copied and this goes back to one of those like you know really really obvious quotes that you hear quite a lot in the artist world is like steal like an artist basically means be inspired but don't be afraid to try it and try it in your own way or try even just different things all together in one simple graphic so as you guys can see i honestly didn't do anything special whatsoever what i did was i took what i saw on my boot board and just gave it a shot and got inspired by it and that is just one simple direction i can go once again and just start off with a different composition from a different like you know layout that i see on my mood board or something like that it is honestly so ridiculously strong and if you find yourself in these moments where you're sitting down and you're just like i can't think of anything it's probably because you are not inspired there is honestly no artist on this planet that even though has the most original style in your own opinion that it wasn't inspired by either something multiple things or even one thing you just really never know so what i want to say is do not be afraid to steal like an artist do not be afraid to go on pinterest behance wherever you want to find your own inspiration even outside i'm currently in new york i have never had more inspiration with like graffiti culture-esque look of designs ever so i want to challenge you guys please make your own mood board try it out and genuinely i will tell you right now if you put this into practice like make it maybe just look through every single day go through your pinterest behance is all that good stuff you will realize how much fun design is when you're not struggling about how to come up with ideas but actually how to use the many that you have so with that being said Sesso hq out you're not gonna keep smiling stay positive and stay a freaking proto guys little much love peace and if you enjoyed let me know and want more tutorials something like this fashion let me know as well and don't forget sessohq.com if for uh you know the mood boards you want to check it out yourself and uh yeah i'm gone later